Hello, everybody. Welcome along to Thursday's House of Games. You interrupt me in the middle of a Trevor Nelson pep talk. Four <laughs> players playing all week. One of them's going to win this trophy at the end of the week. Will it be Trevor Nelson? Let's find out, shall we? Our players are Kimberly Nixon, <laughs> Rachel Fairburn. There he is, Trevor Nelson. <laughs> And Des Clark. Welcome one, welcome all. Kimberly, two wins now. I know. A win yesterday. Yeah. Feeling good. How are you feeling about the trophy? It's getting closer, isn't it? It's that that awful, it's within reach, but it's so easily lost. It really is, because there's some good players, not least Rachel, who won on Tuesday. Rachel, yeah. uh, you buzzed in on the last round and got one wrong last time, but you went for it. That's the key, isn't it? Are you yeah. Gonna keep going for it today? Um, yeah, I'm going to... I felt that was a big risk that I took, and I don't know why I did it, but it's done now. I've just got to get over it and focus again. Exactly that. Now, yeah. Trevor, the pep talk we were, we were having yeah. is you were yeah. worrying about other people, and you weren't yeah. buzzing in in that final round. I, I was focusing on Rachel. I didn't want to lose a point. Yeah. It was so close. And then when Toronto came up, Kimberly came in like a shark. <laughs> yeah. She came in like a shark while I was dithering. Yeah. And that's what lost it for me. That's where we are. Trevor, let's oh. take a look at the weekly leaderboard, though, because you did come second yesterday. Mm. And here's how we stand. Trevor, you have five, Des, six, nine for Rachel, ten for Kimberly. Very close with two days to go. Des, mm. we haven't had a win from you yet, but you've shown a lot of form. You fancy it today? I fancy it today, yeah. I think uh, Trevor and I have been uh, keeping our powder very dry. So dry. So I mean, really. <laughs> I mean, insanely dry. It's like dust. Saharan. <laughs> yes. Dryness. But now is the time for that winning moisture. Yes, yeah, so, <laughs> lovely. Start to produce. Some winning moisture. Let's take a look at today's prizes. If you were to win today, you get to choose one of these. The, oh. the, yeah, the plant pot, the bamboo lunchbox, the watering can and the dartboard. Des, what do you think? I'm going to go dartboard. Dartboard every day of the week. Trevor? You're not going to get the dartboard, mate, because I'm going to get the there dartboard. There we go. Some positive <laughs> mental right. attitude from Trevor. How it's going Rachel? Down. I also would like the dartboard. Oh, three dartboards so far. Kimberly? My husband's a big gardener, so I'm going to have to go for the plant pot. The plant pot. Shall we get on? <laughs> yeah. uh, find our Thursday champion. Our first round today is... Highbrow, lowbrow, I'm going to go along the line. I'm going to ask each of you two questions. First question will be a highbrow one. Second question, lowbrow, but they have the same answer. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. If you get it from the highbrow one, you get two points. If you get it from the lowbrow one, you will get one point. Kimberly, a highbrow question for you. What is the first name of the 19th century Italian composer who wrote the operas Rigoletto and Aida? The first thing that popped into my head was Giuseppe. Giuseppe? OK. Let's uh, you can see if you want to stick with that when you see the lowbrow question. OK. What was the first name of the 2021 winner of the Great British Bake Off? I have no idea who that is. Um, I'm going to just stick with Giuseppe. I'm going to stick with Giuseppe. Two points if it's right. OK. Bake Off fans? <laughs> Giuseppe winning the Bake Off? I don't know. Let's take a look. He certainly did. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Yeah. And Giuseppe Verdi was the composer. Yeah, Giuseppe was lovely on Bake Off. Italian guy with lovely mm, curly he hair. Yes. Yeah, he was great. Oh, good. Well done, Giuseppe. Oh. Rachel, for two points, your highbrow question is this. Which figure in Roman mythology is the counterpart of the Greek god Hephaestus? Roman god... Uh, I don't know, Cupid. Cupid. Yeah. OK, Cupid. Let's see if you want to stick with that. In Star Trek, Mr Spock is half human <laughs> and half what? I'm not that much of a geek. <laughs> Is it air? Uh... Oh, look. Des and Kimberly are both, uh, both fancy a bit of this. Should we time you out? Yeah. As soon as that goes red, the buzzers will be open. Oh. Des wins the buzzer race. I think from the second clue, it's Vulcan. Vulcan for a point. That's the right answer, oh. Des. Well done. Vulcan. Trevor Nelson. Yes, sir. Your two-point question, your mm. highbrow question is this. Ali Smith won the 2021 Orwell Prize for Political Fiction for which novel that was the fourth in a series of books written in quick response to current events? Aha. Uh -huh. I have no idea. Should we go for the lowbrow? Yes, please. There we go. Sarah Michelle Gellar and Jennifer Love Hewitt starred in the 1997 horror film I Know What You Did Last What? Summer. Summer, the answer for a point? Absolutely right. Well done. Ali Smith novels were the four seasons, essentially, were the names of those novels. Des, for two points. Can you answer this? 
In Richard III, the future Henry VII urges a group to march towards which city in pursuit of the king? Not a clue. I mean, I could phrase it differently. Name a city. <laughs> <laughs> Leicester. Leicester. OK, let's see. It might, uh, it might pay off. Your next question is this. Do you want to stick with Leicester or change it? In... <laughs> Hold on a minute. <laughs> In 2016, <laughs> Gary Lineker presented Match of the Day in just his undies after promising to do so if which football club won the Premier League? I can't believe that. Are you kidding me on? <laughs> Are you serious? That is wow. insane. That's ridiculous. Sticking with Leicester? What? Definitely sticking, sticking with, with Leicester. Leicester. Uh, for what two just points? happened? <laughs> How about that, Leicester? Well played, <laughs> yes. Your name is written. Your name is written. That's nice. I guess maybe Richard III is buried in Leicester. That's somewhere. Yeah, in there the, was the car park thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah that must have been That's in the back amazing. of my mind. Yeah. Must have been somewhere. But what a great thing. answer! Two points. Very good. Wow. wow. Dez. We are back to Kimberley. Oof. I don't think anyone's ever got two two pointers. Okay. Uh, in this round. Which group therapy technique in which patients act out events from their past was developed by the Viennese psychiatrist J.L. Marino in the 1920s? Regression. Regression? Yeah, I was thinking, but then... It I, sounds... You know, I don't know what lowbrow question would be, but it's... Uh, <laughs> it's a, but it's a good... Who I can't about? think what... No, but I, it's the only thing I can think yeah, of, so we'll I'll go, go with that. regression. Here's your lowbrow question. Which album by <laughs> Dave won a Brit Award in 2020? Does he have an album called Regression? Um, you want to stick with Regression? I'm just going to have to stick with Regression because I don't know. I'm sorry, I don't know Dave's album. If it's wrong, the buzzers will open. Is it Regression? Oh. It's oh. not anybody. Oh, I should Dave's know. Album, Trevor. I should know. Come I should on. know. Trevor, yeah, you know but, but I'm not a crime boy. <laughs> I mean, it's one word. No, I've no, forgotten. No one going. I think. I can't. I can't. It's I, I, psychodrama. I, psychodrama. It's one word. Oh. I did say it's one word. Psychodrama is the answer. Well, I don't know if you said that at home, Rachel. <laughs> mm, OK. A, a highbrow question for you, for two points. What is the first name of the gentleman caller who was invited to the Wingfield family home in the Tennessee Williams play, The Glass Menagerie? It feels like I should know, mm. but I don't know. I don't think it feels like you should know. Uh, you could just <laughs> name a first name if you like. It worked for Des. Um, Roger. Roger, it's your... <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to what the lowbrow question is. <laughs> Here we go, here's your lowbrow question. <laughs> what was the first name of the character played by John Krasinski on the US TV show The Office? Oh, um, <laughs> Tim. Tim? It's not, I'm afraid. Anyone else? Whoever oh, gets in before Kim. Just because I wanted to do that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that I'm going for Jim. Jim? Absolutely right. Well yes. done, Jim, is the answer. Well played, Trevor. Tim was in the <laughs> yeah, exactly. original Tim office. Yeah. The, yeah, yes. Tim became Jim in the Jim. American office. Trevor, question for you now yeah. for two points. What was the surname of the naturalist for whom the island rule in evolutionary biology is named? Surname. Keen. Keen. Yes, okay. I'm going for Keen. Yeah, that's good. That could, that could because... answer the lowbrow question. Here's your lowbrow question. In the famous nursery rhyme, which doctor went to Gloucester and got his legs all wet? I don't know that nursery rhyme. Doctor went no, to Gloucester and got his legs I don't, all I don't want to put any pressure, but it looks like everyone else knows. <laughs> I know, I don't know that nursery rhyme, but I'm going to miss out on this nursery rhyme. Doctor went to Gloucester and got... Can you sort of sing the nursery? You, well, that pretty much was it. Doctor went to Gloucester and got his legs all wet. No. Nope, we'll time you out, Can't so we've got no. a buzzer race on our hands. Kimberly. Foster. Dr Foster went to Gloucester. Absolutely <laughs> well played. Kimberly. <laughs> you really focused on the legs getting wet. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Whereas, yeah, Gloucester was the big... Uh, <laughs> oh, right. Dr yeah. Foster, Foster, Foster was... Oh, right, I see, I see. Des, last question in this round. Leicester. It's for you. <laughs> see, <laughs> might as well. <laughs> in Greek mythology, which son of Leda combines with his twin Pollux to form a pairing known as the Dioscuri? Don't know much about a twin Pollux. Um, Greek mythology, which son of Leda? Homer. 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 Let's see if you want to stick with that. This is your next question. In the Popeye comic strips, Olive Oil's brother has what first name? 
Olive Oil's brother. Mm. <laughs> he wasn't one of the bigger characters. No, he yeah. wasn't. I have no idea what Olive Oil's brother was called. I'm going to stick with Homer. Homer. Yeah. Oh, yeah absolutely. Homer <laughs> oil. Texas, of course, that's the Homer oil. Yeah. Um, <laughs> is the answer Homer? It is not. Yes, Trevor. Pierre. Pierre. Pierre? It is not. Rachel. I'm going to say Brutus. Brutus? That's incorrect. Yes, Kimberly. I'm going to say Oliver. Oliver? <laughs> <laughs> Is incorrect. Ooh, going well, I'm going afraid. Did you get this one at home? It's another type of oil, and the twins, and they're two of the stars up in the sky, Castor and Pollux. Uh, so Castor. Oh, Castor. Oh. Oh. Castor oh. oil. Yeah, do remember. This is Olive Oil's brother. So we've learned something there, haven't we? That <laughs> we Olive go. Oil had a brother called Castor. It's the end of the round. Let's take a look at our first scoreboard. Tuesday's champion Rachel Ooh. yet to get off the mark. Trevor Nelson has two. Kimberly and Des, joint leaders with three points. Well played. Let's go straight on, shall we, and play our pairs game today. It is. You spell terrible. Rachel, you're in fourth place today. Who would you like to pair up with? I'm going to stay with Kimberly. Staying with Kimberly. <laughs> yeah. You're thinking, this sounds like a round where someone might be able to have to spell. <laughs> you're thinking, feels with always, all due respect, gents. <laughs> That feels like maybe Kimberly. So Trevor and Des, you're a team. You're a great team earlier in the week. Rachel and Kimberly, you're a team. Now in this round, I'm going to ask you a series of questions. Fingers on buzzers, everyone. If you buzz in and give me the correct answer, I will only give you a point if your partner can then spell that. <laughs> oh, oh man! Oh come oh, on! You good? No way! Good at spelling? Not yeah. great. Here's your first one. According to a common saying about the natural behaviour of people, which a large cat cannot change its spots. Yes, Rachel. Leopard. Leopard is the correct answer for a point. Kimberly, can you spell leopard? L E O P A R D. Never in doubt. Well played. Point to Kimberly and Rachel. Next question. Steven Spielberg received an Oscar nomination for directing the 1982 film E.T. The Extra What? Yes, Des. Sorry, Trevor. That's all right. Uh, is it E.T. the extra terrestrial? Terrestrial is the correct <laughs> answer, Trevor. For <laughs> okay. the point, can you spell terrestrial? It's all about the R's here, I think. Mm. T, E, R. It's whether there's two R's or not. I'm going for two R's. R? Well done. E, S, T, I. Oh, oh I said all I. All about the R. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Des. No. What an effort. R I A L. Oh. The answer. Well done if you got that at home. Unlucky Trev. Well played. Oh, that's a tough one. Next question. The tennis player who in 2021 became the first qualifier in the Open Era to win a Grand Slam title is Emma Who? <laughs> yes, Rachel. Raducanu. Raducanu <laughs> yeah. is the right answer. Kimberly for the point. Spell Raducanu, please. R. <laughs> A. D. A. Ah. Oh, we steal? Afraid. You can't steal. Is it you? Yeah. Raducanu. 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 Let's take a look. Raducanu. R A D U C. A N A. A N U. Radicanu. Well done if you got that right at home. Next question. What pizza is traditionally topped with ham and pineapple? Yes, Kimberly. Wow. Hawaiian. Hawaiian is correct. <laughs> Rachel for the point. Okay. Well, Hawaiian, please. Okay. H. A. W. Uh, here we go. <laughs> A. I. I. A. N. Oh, oh. How about that? well played, Rachel Fairburn. Hawaiian. Very nicely played. Next question. In maths, what type of triangle has three sides of the same length? <laughs> yes, Rachel. Isosceles. Isosceles. Oh, I'm afraid. 
Yes, Des. Equilateral. Equilateral? It's the right answer. Ooh! Oh, yeah, again, For the mate. Points, Sorry. Could you spell equilateral? <laughs> EQ. <laughs> U. I. L. A. T. E. <laughs> R. A. L. Trevor, well Oof. done. Come nice fate. Well done, Trevor. Well done, Des. Yeah. Final question in this round now. In the TV show Happy Days, what is the surname of the character played by Henry Winkler? Yes, Trevor. Well, he's called the Fonz. So, Fonzarelli. Fonzarelli is the correct answer. Des, he looks happy about this. You, do, do you remember you? that show? For the point, can you spell Fonzarelli? Right, OK. F O N Z E. No. Oh, no! no. I wouldn't know. Fonza, Fonzarelli? Fonzarelli. Fonza. Fonza. Oh, yeah, oh, it's fun to have. Uh, yeah. Double L, I yeah. guess, maybe. That is the end of that round. Let's take a look at what it's done to our scoreboard. <laughs> oh, mate. <laughs> oh, that's average. It's been close all week. It remains close now. Three points between all of you. Rachel with two, Trevor with three, Des with four, Kimberly, two time winner. She's in the lead with five. Okay, Kimberly. Round three today is going to be. Fingernims. Fingers on buzzers, please. I'm going to show you the lyrics now from some famous songs. But we've rewritten them, so they will be different words, but they will mean the same thing. You'll see a year as well, which would be the year the song was released. But which songs are these? Gosh, I'm experiencing things similarly to how an adult female human might. Yes, that is Rachel. Man, I feel like a woman. Man, I feel like a woman? Yeah. <laughs> Man, I feel like a woman. <laughs> Absolutely right. Well done, Shania Twain. Well played, Rachel. Next one. However, the woman discovered me resting upon a worktop. I did not do it. I was observed smooching whilst upon a couch. I did not do it. Yes, Rachel. <laughs> it wasn't me, Shaggy. I mean, surely. Oh, you're joking. <laughs> resting yes. upon a worktop. <laughs> but she got me <laughs> Uh, there you go. It wasn't me, but Shaggy. I'm a beats man, not a lyrics man. Well done. <laughs> uh, next one. What song is this, please? I have no feelings regarding the first day of the week being gloomy. The second day is drab, and the third day also. Yes, Des. Friday, I'm in love. Friday, I'm in love. Is that right? I don't care if Monday's Very good. Tuesday's great. And Wednesday, Wednesday too. too. Well done. Friday, I'm in love by The Cure. Next one. What song are these lyrics from? Using this route or an alternative, one will discover you. One is going to catch you. Catch you, catch you, catch you. Yes, Des. One way or another. Uh, one way or another. One way. Oh, well done. <laughs> Well played by Blondie. Blondie, that's it. Nicely done. Next lyrics. Begin telling everyone the gossip. I'm off right now. I have a desire to join in. The Big Apple, the Big Apple. Yes, Rachel. New York, New York. New York, New York. Start spreading the news. There you go. Well done. I'm leaving today. Frank Sinatra. Final question. Which song are these lyrics from? I will dangle suspended by the elaborate light fitting. By the elaborate light fitting. Yes, Des. Chandelier. Is it Chandelier by Sia? Mm. Is that what she's saying? Yeah. Chandelier here. Chandelier, yeah. yeah. She loved well, light fittings. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well played, Des. Should we take a look at the scores? Three rounds down. Good round that for Des. A Glasgow going to get themselves a prize Come this week. <laughs> 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 
Trevor, you have three. Ooh, ooh, Rachel yes. and Kimberly are two champions so far, five points each. There's Clark, hero of Glasgow, in the lead, two points ahead. Well played, Des. Can he hang on? Can he increase his lead in round four, which is... A nice round. Now, Kimberly, we will start with you. If all three of your opponents can take out their tablets, please. <laughs> You are going to have to guess the name of a film, OK? That film is about to appear on everyone else's tablet. They will each write down a one-word clue okay. for that film. You'll put those three clues together and try and work out what the film is. We call it the nice round because if you get it right, you score a point, but you'll also give a point to the person who's given you the most helpful clue. Oh. Hmm. So you want to be helpful because you want to get that extra point. Oh, to sum it up in one word, don't it? Everyone is in. Rachel, what is Kimberly's first word? Futuristic. Futuristic. Trevor? <laughs> futuristic. <laughs> futuristic. Beginning to feel hey, futuristic. Rage. Yep. Des, help us out here. I was going to write that, but then I wrote apocalyptic. Apocalyptic. Futuristic, futuristic, apocalyptic. Hmm. Blade Runner. You're going to go, but is it Blade Runner? Yes. Well played. <laughs> it is Blade Runner. Crazy. What? So who would you like to give a point to? I have to give it to Des. You've got to give it to Des. Apocalyptic. Des, well done, Des. Get yourself a point there. So Kimberly gets a point. Des gets a point. Rachel, yes. you are now going to have to guess a film. Okay. Your three opponents will write you down a one-word clue. Okay. I've never seen this. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Everyone in? Mm. So, Rachel, you've got to guess the name of a film. You've got okay. three words to help you out. Trevor, the first word is... Upset. Upset, okay. says Trevor. Des? Fury. Fury. OK. And Kimberly? Well, I've gone rhyme time again. <laughs> this is a bit abs... Jury. jury. Upset, fury, jury. If it's a courtroom thing, I, I hate courtroom things, so I won't know what it is. Um, I don't know. I, I kind of wanted to say Raging Bull. For Upset and Fury. Yeah. I'm going to go Raging Bull. I'm going to go Raging Bull. I think I might have got it from Jury. <laughs> the best Jury movie of all time. 12 Angry Men? Yes. 12 Angry Men, and I was thinking of Fury. Uh, I've seen that. So we give away no bonus points there. Trevor, yes. you've got to guess the name of a film Can now. We? You will have three words to help you out, Trevor. Point, if you get it right. You need to give a point to the person who gives you the best clue. OK, everyone is in. Trevor, you've got to guess the name of a film. And Des, the first word is? India. India. India, says Des. Kimberly? Quiz. Quiz. Rachel? I've also written India. India. India, India quiz. Oh, what's it called again? <laughs> something millionaire. Something... Was that thing about Slumdog Millionaire? <gasps> Slumdog Millionaire? That's the right answer, yes. wasn't Trev? You see that yeah, positive mental but attitude? I looked at you, Richard, yeah. and it all just came Absolutely. to me. <laughs> Boom, it was there. Um, so, I don't want to be tactical here, but I'd say quiz, think... quiz tipped me over. Yeah, I think quiz so. Quiz tipped me over. I Although so. India, without India, there is no answer, but I'll give a quiz. Yeah. Oh, thanks, um, Trevor. So, Kimberly gets a point and Trevor gets a point. Des, you are the last player in this round. You have a film to guess. You will have three words to help you. Everyone is in. Des, you've got to guess the film. We've got three words to help us. Kimberly, the first word. I wasn't sure if it was a word, but I went with unthawed. Unthawed. <laughs> uh, Rachel. Snowman. Snowman. And Trevor. Soundtrack. <sighs> Soundtrack. Des. It's got to be frozen. Got to be frozen. <laughs> I not get that. Come I on. I would not so. get that. So Des, you get a point. Uh, who got to give a point to? They all gave great clues. Uh, like. Trevor. Wow. What? Well, that is a tactical point. I need it. But listen, that's what happens sometimes. <laughs> Trevor gets himself another <laughs> point. Um, let's take a look at our scoreboard, shall we, as we go into our final round on Thursday's House of Games. Rachel and Trevor, you have five points each. Kimberly, you've got seven. Des Clark, he's got yeah. a two point lead leading into our final round. Well played, Des. <laughs> our final round is this. Answer smash, fingers on buzzers, point for a correct answer, point off for an incorrect answer. Your first category is landmarks. Those will be the pictures. 
Who won a Best Actor Oscar for his role in the 2001 film Training Day? Yes, Kimberly. Denzel Washington Memorial. Oh. Denzel Washington Memorial? It is not, I'm afraid. <gasps> Lose a point. Rachel. Denzel Washington Needle. Denzel Washington Needle? <laughs> it no. is not, why did I do I'm that? afraid. I don't know why I did that. Um, what is it? It's the Denzel Washington Monument. Monument! I'm ah. afraid. Denzel Washington, Washington <laughs> Monument. I should have got that. Next clue, next landmark. Which 60s sci-fi series features the villainous Dr. Smith, a robot, and the Robinson family? Oh, my gosh. One of the first things I ever saw on telly. What was it called? I'm just trying to remember. Oh. Shall we find out? Yeah. Uh, it was Lost in, in Space Lost in Needle. Space! Oh. Oh. Lost in Space Lost and Space in Needle. Space. Lost in Space that Needle. That Next category is International Sports Stars. That'll be the pictures. That'll be clues above. Which number two hit for Elton John is subtitled, I think it's going to be a long, long time. Yes, Rachel. Rocket Man Mana Kornikova. Rocket Mana Kornikova? Yes. <laughs> is the right answer. Well done. Rocket, Rocket Man, Man Anna Kornikova. <laughs> Rocket Mana Kornikova. Next clue, next picture. Which former military man had a UK number one in 2020 with You'll Never Walk Alone? Oh, yes, Trevor. The UK number one, you'll never walk alone. Oh, I, shouldn't have said, I know that's Tom Brady, so that would be... <laughs> Sorry, Trev, I'm going to time you out. It's Rachel fancy it. Rachel? Captain Tom, Tom Brady. Oh, yeah, Captain oh, Tom. Not Captain Tom, about Tom him. Brady. Kimberly? Captain Tom Brady. Captain Tom Brady, <laughs> simple as that. Next category, do we have any more? Oh. We do not oh. have any oh, more. The music ones are killing There's me. There's an awful lot going on there, wasn't there, in that final <laughs> round. Has <laughs> Dares done it? Has Kimberly so won her third of the week? Let's find out, shall we? The winner of Thursday's House of Games. The pride of Glasgow, Des Clark oh. takes home oh. the prize. Well done, Des. Thank you so much. The look of relief on your face as you take home a prize. Which of these would you like? You know what, Richard? I'm going to stick with my original thought. That Dartboard is dart coming board, home. Dartboard, lovely. The dartboard stays in Glasgow with Des Park. Well done. Our third separate winner of the week as well. Very impressive. One day to go. Double points Friday tomorrow. Ooh. At the end of that, we give away our trophy. Who are we going to give it to? Let's take a look at the leaderboards. Trevor, you have seven. Des has ten. Rachel, 11. Kimberly, 13. Wow. So it is going to be very, very close indeed. Can only be one winner tomorrow. One person taking home the trophy. Who's it going to be? See you here, same time, same place. We'll see you here as well for the final of the House of Games. <laughs> I'd love to throw That's darts at your face. <laughs> you would now, after, after this week. Beautiful. <laughs> I'm going to put my own face in this. <laughs> Lovely.